Hello everyone, here is poem number 3 from class 9 English book Beehive, Rain on the Roof by the poet's coat skinny. Here we have short biography of the poet. He was an American lawyer, politician, journalist and of course a poet whose poem Rain on the Roof we are going to study today. He was born in New York, United States on November 24, 1826 and he died in Ohio, United States on January 25th, 1904. And here are the names of some of his famous works. First we have lyrics of the ideal and the real. Then there is Kiyoka and other poems. Yet another mists of fire. Let's begin the introduction to the poem Rain on the Roof. When the sky is covered with dark clouds and it starts raining, have you ever listened to the patter of soft rain on the roof? What thoughts flashed through your mind as you heard this malady of nature? Flashes means appears suddenly and malady of nature refers to rain. Your malady means music, rhythm. So let us read a poem about this malady of nature and experience the poet's experience. Read the poem to find out what the poet dreamed of while listening to the rain. Before we paraphrase, let's mark the rhyme scheme of the poem. We very well know how to mark the rhyme scheme of any poem. For that, we do need to take the last words of each verse into consideration. So here, first word we have hover. A. Spheres. B. Because hover and spheres do not rhyme with each other. Similarly, darkness. Darkness also does not rhyme with any of the words marked above C so A B C then tears and here we find that spears and tears do rhyme with each other hence tears will also be marked as B then we have pillow so here comes D then we have bed bed also does not rhyme with any of the words marked above so it gets the letter E and then there is patter. Patter gets the letter F. Then the last word is overhead which has a rhyming word bed. So overhead also gets E. And here we get our rhyme scheme which is A, B, C, B, D, E, F, E which is consistently followed in the other two stanzas. Thank you. Let's meet in the next module.